Hi. How are you? Hello. We are back. Back, back, back. <laughs> back and feeling like a bag of dirt. <laughs> but we're back. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. really? No, it's great to be back with you guys. Missed you more than I can ever begin to say. Now, for all of you that are here, I'm coming in. Big, big bear hug yeah. to everybody. <laughs> We missed you. Mm -hmm. We missed you. Yes. And we're not just saying it. We did. We we tried to be on a little bit when we could. Um, yeah. But we were mostly off the grid and literally off the grid without internet. Yeah. Uh, so um, we're very happy to be back for a little bit of time at least. And, yeah. Uh, happy to see you. Missed you guys so much. Missed you guys so much. And Terrell says, hey, Push, and guess what? What's up, Terrell? You got the floor. And best friend in your thread is here, nomadic veteran, farmall fanatic, Colorado Martini. Uh, Make it clean. Mormon. <laughs> nomadic veteran. Uh, guys, I, what the part of the problem why we weren't going to go on tonight? Xenia is still really tired. Her body's gone through a lot doing all the cleaning and stuff, and I can't barely see anything. I took a wood allergy. And uh, my eyes are almost like seven shut, <laughs> but congratulations, good for you. And Excellent. by the way, uh, we, as always, us, uh, um, happy birthday, belated this time, uh, for Stephanie, yes, your friend. Uh, we sang a happy birthday last week for her, thinking that it was a kiss, <laughs> yeah. uh, for whatever reason, and uh, that's how pride our brain was yeah but uh nevertheless we did that uh we were on our road and on adventures yesterday you'll hear about it later and um so happy birthday again yes uh, belated this time let me pop out this chat and uh, see what you guys are up to yes oh my god laura wilson i am driving in a storm will lose service no doubt but happy to see you happy to see you as well we missed you guys so much you have no idea it was good to be off the grid. We had got a lot of work done. We never stopped. We literally worked like, what, 15, 16 hour days. Yeah, it was we crazy. only call it a vacation, but yeah. I think it was just a name this time because we were actually physically working all this time. Uh, you know, I grind hours yeah. a day nonstop, literally nonstop sometimes, not mm -hmm. even sitting down. So I uh, wouldn't call it a vacation. It was time off. Hopefully, next time is going to be more of a vacation time, but uh, that's okay. Sometimes you need that as well. So um we're so happy to see you uh we are not really up to date to everything no. which has been going on a no. little bits and pieces that people have uh texted to us uh, and to the people that were messaging us and yes. stuff like that and saying how much you missed us and that i mean you want to talk about making somebody feel good and i hope you know we missed you guys just as much like it feels when you kind of go off especially on live stream you wonder well I'll come back is anybody going to be there are they going to and you know you guys always come through and making us feel good and i hope we do the same for you guys yeah thank you so much for yeah. all the personal messages on facebook instagram twitter uh all oh. the tweets and uh, dms uh, we appreciate it so much uh it is you know it does feel more personal than just being on youtube <laughs> because we know each other so much more than uh than just uh through channels right? i just love it julia miranda hey push i'm glad to see you're not in the witness protection program yeah. <laughs> oh my god you guys i missed all these things <laughs> uh yeah so uh what uh let's talk about uh, what have been we up and uh, you guys <laughs> we, we, we up <laughs> where did that come from <laughs> no we've had a lot rough couple of days my brain is fried literally that's my favorite expression in the last week we let this the big we'll tell the ending first and then do the beginning yes we left yesterday at 6 a.m 850 kilometer drive we turned in a bit longer we went to the here here story time i've never done one of these before but we're we're gonna do a story to all oh, 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 just in case you didn't there, hear yeah lesson. exactly that's my new that's the digital version of stuttering i guess so <laughs> let's see here i want to bring up and show you guys something this is quite a tale this was interesting you're sharing it already? Uh, no, I'm going to bring it up in two seconds. Hello, Jayo in Japan and cute Kiwai. Hello, hello. Say hi to your husband. 
in the woods with Wolfie. Hello, hello. So nice to see you. Okay. Local fun sisters. Hello, nice to see you too. Uh, Kellen Kleinberg. Hello, hello, hello. So good to hear these names. You uh, missed you guys a ton. And guys, if you can, uh, tweet it out, share yep. it, and like it. If you can, uh, tell the world we are back and we miss back. you. We, we want to see you, you and uh, say hi and see what has been new and up with you as well. So uh, leave a comment in the chat while Andrew's telling our story time. This. Yeah, so this is a short one, but this is what happened to us yesterday. This is basically our route that we took. So let's just see here. 856 kilometers, that's going to be, what, 600 miles, I think, around? So we're leaving here and going back to Montreal. Now, as you know, I inher we inherited some stuff. One was a truck, a very good truck, really good shape. Had a noise for one day, thought, oh, well, then maybe because I was hauling some stuff, that maybe that's what happened. We'll not get it checked out. The first time in my life I've ever done that. <laughs> so we leave here and we drive through this road. Now, this road is through a park. There's nothing. There's literally 135 kilometers of nothing till you get to here. That goes well, thank God. But right around, right around uh, here, actually right on this exit, in this town here, big noise, pull over, and then I'm like, oh, this is not good. And I pretty much know right away what it is. I got a bearing gone on my wheel. So... I get it over the side where it's safe. The axle snaps. So now we have the two kids on the side of the road, Xenia and myself. We get a tow truck, and then there's not enough room for everybody, so then we got to hire a van to pick them up. And we go from this spot around here, and we go to this town. It's called Rivier de Loup, and that translates to Wolf River. And there's a Ford dealership, and I got to go where there's a Ford dealership because I have no idea what garages are there. Some small ones that probably would have saved me money and some that would rip me off. Now, this truck that we got, Ford Ranger, it's only got 64,000 kilometers, 2011. Great truck, but things happen. We're about to trade it in because it's no good for us because the seats are too narrow for the kids and things. So we have to get towed there. Well, Ford tells me the price of the parts. From Ford, it was going to cost $2,111 Canadian, plus about four hours' labor at $400, which roughly, with taxes and everything, would have brought us to about mm, $2,700, $2,800 just to repair the truck. But these guys were good. Even though we were stranded, even though it was, we were in a bad mess, they made some calls, they got me some secondhand parts, and they brought the bill down from that to $566, and we were stuck there the whole day. The garage closes at 5. Now, this is a big Ford dealership, and they actually, out of the goodness of their heart, stayed open until 5.30, the mechanic and the, the manager, to make sure our truck would be ready so we could leave that day and not have to be stuck for the night. So they did. They fixed it. It still cost almost a thought. We were $3 short of $1,000. How much is this in U.S.? In U.S., a thousand dollars would be about what seven fifty, I guess, somewhere around there. So on every thousand, and uh, yeah, exactly. Taking my picture. Oh, blue red selfie. Blue red selfie, and yeah, so we were we got out that day. Still cost us a thousand dollars, but we were able to make it home. So we left at six in the morning, and we got home at ten at night, ten thirty. So we had a bit of a long day. Yeah, so if anybody's seen uh, my tweet yesterday up on the road, that was before it all yeah. happened. <laughs> when things are looking up. <laughs> yeah, when things are looking up, I'm like, oh, yeah. I got to tweet something out. You know, yeah. we're on the way home. We're going to be home. Maybe go live stream. Well, uh, that was way after our live stream time we got home. And we had a ton of work. Xenia, as you know, has got fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue. So she's like dead on her feet. And I broke out in my famous spruce allergy. So my eyes tonight, I'm having trouble even reading the screen and that I on my forehead, on my face. So yeah, it was uh, it was an interesting trip back. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I seen yeah. that uh, uh, there are people. Small town investigations, by the way. Hello to welcome. Uh, a nomadic veteran had to tow their uh, truck today. Oh, shop. I'm uh, sorry to hear that. Uh, yeah, that's. Uh, I don't wish that on anybody. 
you know. Yeah, and mm. there was somebody else that was saying about their truck as well. Uh, 150 pounds uh, got to mount our car. 150 pounds, yeah. Uh, Japanese uh, wife. Sorry. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, your, your lifestyle, yeah. your Japanese lifestyle, UK wife, uh, cute, cute way. <laughs> uh, they had to. Wow, so that's too bad. Yeah, it's that uh, really sucks. It was quite a quite a quite an adventure. I must say, we yeah. wasn't really sure if we would make it home. Really, actually, exactly uh, yesterday. So, and today has been. Uh, it sucks because I would have been rented the truck in probably about two weeks at the most because we're trading it in. But anyways, yeah, mm -hmm. there wouldn't be anything there yesterday. We have traded it yesterday. Yes, and... I was talking, and the guy was pretty good. He offered me a good deal for it. So. Everybody's clamoring for that thing because everybody wants those trucks. But yeah, uh, well, uh, I while Andrew was talking, I was doing our Blue Range group oh. selfie. So if you feel like it uh, and you have missed this part uh, a lot, uh, just tweet it out hashtag Blue Ridge Group. Uh, uh, let me see your best friend in your faces. thread. Well, you're still married and sitting next to each other, so it must have been all all right. Yeah, <laughs> no, it wasn't uh, like. That part wasn't at all. It's so so calm actually. I don't know. Lisa asked if we drove, uh, filmed the ride home. No, uh, and, I did little yeah. bits and pieces with the phone. Yeah, uh, did some pictures closer to Montreal. We wanted to do some on the on the. We're doing it on the next run. It's already yeah. being planned out. Uh, we yeah. wanted to do some on the mountain uh, drive. We Andrew did a video of moose, by the way, so that might pop up uh, at some point. Uh, we caught yes. by the road, so that was really interesting. Should, well, we didn't catch I it. Get a USB looking cable. at us, I get a uh, for it was uh, quite interesting, but we were so beat, and there was fog because we were at uh, say I'm in the morning, so we didn't take too much. But <laughs> then we're going back in two weeks. So. Brian Toscano asked, "I popped in late. Can you fast recap what vehicle and what broke?" It was a 2011 Ford Ranger, uh, four liter, four by four, and uh, we ended up the axle on the driver's side. Uh, the hub. Uh, then I had to change the disc. I almost had to change a caliper, but we got away from that one. So, yeah, it was fun. I don't recommend it for anybody. My car has a catalytic converter go bad. I may set it on fire, Juliet. Yes, I don't blame you. Nobody likes car trouble. That's the one thing we can all agree on in life. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I got to wipe my eyes. I can't even barely see. This is how badly we want to see you guys tonight. <laughs> this is really pitiful. Yeah, we're not in our best shape. No, but, no. Uh, this is not our A game or anything like that. Oh, Farm Ball Fanatic, you got a 2010? <laughs> wow. They're good trucks. I mean, it's just we can't put our kids in. That's the only problem. Yeah, our daughter loves it. Yeah. But uh, again, we can't really use it too much. For Those front facing purposes. seats, she said she feels like she's on our train, so she's happy with it. But our 12, our 11 year old, well, he doesn't feel so glamorous in it when he's legs he looked like a sardine thousand dollars a thousand dollars is a good price for the parts for and the labor and everything it was all right i mean they were fair they were very fair i gotta actually go right i promised them i would write in facebook and uh, give them a good review they were good to us could have been a lot worse like i say if they had a, like some dealers especially fords would say you know we're using our parts take it or leave it it would have cost us i guess 27 2800 dollars so Fair, we missed you as well. So good to have you here. It's uh, <laughs> Juliet's on a roll tonight. Great for hauling deer. That's right. And moose. I gotta. I'll be back in a second. I'm just gonna look for the uh, USB cable because I'm afraid of the moose. Yeah, the moose was pretty interesting, and because it was cold, the way you can notice moose is because uh, it's steaming as it's standing beside the road. And we actually went and did uh, a really um, risque thing. We went, we backed up and, and turned around to see it again. And usually you don't really want to do too much of that because you can spook them and then they can cross the road. And uh, when they run, they just they just plow through everything. And uh, God forbid if your car is in uh, front of them, well, it's nothing much left afterwards. So, but this one was a, a new, like a young uh, lady moose. So. Uh, <laughs> It was just quietly sitting there, but uh, it was, was very interesting. Also interesting that usually we see moose right before or right after the sign, the actual road sign when it says moose there. Once we uh, went up to Gaspe and there was actual uh, mother moose with a baby uh, laying down right under the moose sign. 
<laughs> it was it was a real picture of how the boots uh, looks like a head i guess uh, it was quite interesting um yeah uh, qqi gosh really been weak for cars we also had fun on our break first time went to a theme park in 12 years and almost all the rides shut down took nearly honey are you looking for the uh, plug-in i have plug-in here uh took nearly two weeks chasing the refund yeah yeah that's that's hard um andrew i have a plug-in here uh patricia sprinkles sky pilot hello hello ah and i have a neck cramp <laughs> uh this is so uh yeah sorry yeah again i'm in such a super tired mode um anyone want to buy a slightly scorched pontiac solstice <laughs> Oh my goodness. Sorry. We have 55 and, of them already. Right. M and the gang. Hello, hello. We are good. Uh, living life in Illinois. Hello, hello. Oh, it's so good to see all you guys here. Jeez. It's, uh, it was nice where we were. We had a great time. We got a lot of work done, but it's, uh, good to have you here. Let's see. And we are back and live right now. That's what we are tweeting out. I don't know how long we're going to be on. It's just the important yeah. thing today. We're back and live right now. Our health Ranger wasn't exactly um, we look like. There you go. So, guys, Blue Range Group, hashtag Blue Range Group. Go and uh, tweet your faces. Want to see your beautiful faces. Everybody says that now. Yeah. Okay. So that is out. Hashtag Blue Ranch Group. Anya, uh, Branscombe Farm. Hello. I don't know why. Oh, I'm not in the chat. What happened? I don't know. Just got put it out to the chat. I'm good now. <laughs> I don't know what's happening here. Is it doing that a lot? No, it... just once. How was our vacation? Well, we were just talking about it. Uh, wasn't really vacation was a word uh, instead yeah. of the actually vacation this time. We were working like physical labor for all this time for nine hours a day. Uh, was a lot of work we had to do, and um, uh, our car broke down yesterday on the way back home. So that was quite a vacation, but uh, that's okay. Stuff happens. C'est la vie, my favorite word lately. Uh, in between a balance and salary and my brain is fried. That's probably my top three sentences I'm using uh, last week. Mountain survival. Hello, hello. Welcome. Uh, Everything is just going so bad today. Like nothing will work out. Nothing. Uh, so how are you guys? Yeah. Uh, Terrell got his thousand. Uh, what what else is going on <laughs> whoa joey joey hey. who is this my name is joey. we are Pusha studios it's so great yeah. to see you flop and epic oh my god so great to see you guys yes we are back today it's our impromptu jump on wing in live with the show. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you can tell by the sexy title I gave the video that you know. Oh my god, oh my god. Wow, holy moly. Jeepers, creepers, we are on. Is the best friend your thread still here? Yeah, she, uh, she's there. I yeah. think she's probably somewhere else too, but she's there. I was thinking about her uh, comment about a song that she wrote, the Jeepers Creepers, where'd you get those peepers? That's exactly what I was thinking too. This looks like a good channel. That's right. Uh, uh, yeah. We're still on vacation mode. Yeah. But we decided to come and say hi. Uh, just about to light up a fat J to celebrate the SAA victory, <laughs> the Jordan border. Um, but Alders Rabbit had her babies. Oh, oh, that's so great. Oh, I gotta go and see that. That's amazing. Uh, do you mind if I mention my daughter's new channel? No, no, please post the link. Definitely. 
uh, talking about new channels, our daughter have been asking uh, on and on now about uh, her wanting to have a live stream. Yeah. She asked today yeah. again, are you having your own live stream? Yes. Can I have mine? No. Again. She did that the last time we were on. Yeah. She wants to play Critters about my own mm. life. So. Uh, how you do all blue names? Mm. We give moderator status to everybody. Oh, hey, Joe, they're way better than us. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we don't look like us. Yeah. Right? Uh, senior video oh. uh, with uh, uh, YouTubers, uh, YouTuber family that is going all across uh, the world now. Yeah, uh, yeah cool. it, we did the video with you and with Cody. Uh, so I watched them back to back. Uh, it was quite uh, interesting. Oh my God, guys. I feel almost bad being on here tonight. Like I can barely see. Oh. I uh, just missed you too much to stay away, but. I'm on the gang's uh, daughter's channel. It's about horseback riding. Mm. So if you're interested in that, uh, there's a link in the chat. You can click on oh, that. Let's see here. Follow support. Uh, like go, and share. Let's go take a look at what we got here. Oh, we miss you too. My goodness. Uh, we do. We do. Yeah. We, we were mostly off internet, so there wasn't too much communication. We're not too much up to date with with what's going on on YouTube, Twitter, yeah. or elsewhere. Just a little bits and pieces. Um, so we're trying to catch on, but it's uh, it's hard. <laughs> so this is a channel, Emma and a gang, her daughter's channel, Sassy Bay yeah. Mare. Very cool. Nice. Beautiful. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people that are interested in horses. And Definitely. And, uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, I think it's coming back a lot lately too. Keep we're asking if you quit doing this. No, no, no. We are on our vacation. Yeah. We are going to be coming with a full fledged season two, probably in August. Uh, right now we're kind of on and off. Stage. Yeah. Uh, but um, don't have exact date yet for our regular scheduling. But we're going to be back. We have over twenty people in a guest list waiting, so uh, to be scheduled for their dates. So we are back. We're not going anywhere. We're just on vacation mode. Let's see. Hello. 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 Nathan likes drums. Musky hands. Sure, I think we covered all bases. Oh, forgot to like. Hit that bell. Good stuff. Thank you for sharing yes. that, Emma. And for those of you who missed, that's Emma and the Gang's uh, daughter's uh, new channel. Yep, Go we'll over it. and support. Like, share, and subscribe. Um, Brown Skin Carly is showing some of her old, other rabbits at Country Fair next week for a four-year-old. She can't wait and keep asking the fairs tomorrow. Oh, that's so cool. Yes, Wolfie, I agree to that. Too. Danny, okay. Hello. Hello. Yes, Joey. Yeah, we received some of the messages too. People are so kind and so oh. sweet uh, messaging us. Where are we? It means a lot. It yeah. really does. Like, it's, it's heartwarming. Even I, I... my stink high bottle caps was messaging us yes. a couple times. He misses Actually, I should message him. He probably doesn't know that we're on. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Yeah. There's our moose right here. I don't know how good. I haven't even looked at the video yet. There, you can see him moving his head. That's Andrew. Yeah. There's going to be a better one after. Think, no? no, I think this is about as good as it gets. It was hard to see. You can see the steam coming off for the most. We had uh, trucks coming. It wasn't the safest place. Is uh... Moose are big, but they're really hard to see. They're hard... You can miss them. You see right there. And then we had the kids on the side of a narrow steam. road. Do you see steam? That's where the moose is. And then to get all the sun rays. <laughs> yeah, it is cool, but it is dangerous, as I was there. saying. There, you can see better there. There, you see very good there, yeah. There you go. Hmm. Always use your zoom with a moose. Never go close to them. We're on the other side of the highway with it ready to step on the gas at a moment's notice. And yeah, you never want to get too close. Because they are one dangerous animal. 
Hello, Christopher. Hello, Rolling Homestead. Yes, you're back because six more and I hit 2K. You're always back for your milestones. I love that. This is a good, yeah, that's yeah. where I was uh, thinking this is a so good yeah, right one. in here. Yeah, that's a good piece right there. They don't look big. They're big. And this is a young one. Full-size adult would be up more towards the top of the stick, like the body up around here probably at the end. Because it's hard to tell. He's down in a gully right now. But... He's looking right at you, yeah. yeah. Oh, she, yeah, that's right. Yeah, well, that's a, that's the danger of that. They can mm -hmm. just get spooked because the truck is coming behind us, so they can get spooked very easily. And then if they run over your car, like you can yeah. total it right I, away there. When I used to drive a truck, I mean, I've seen transports hit a freight like a freight liner hit a moose, and I mean, it can drive back the engine block ten inches. And the problem with a car when it hits a moose, the legs are so high it hits in the windshield. And it doesn't set off your airbag, so that's why they're so dangerous. So you really got to treat them with respect. They're not a, I mean, any animal should, you should you know, but those especially. You know. Yeah, and there's lots of wildlife yeah. there. Like uh, deer is like uh, almost like 10 feet, 5 feet away. Uh, one of the evenings I was just outside and there, this deer was uh, yeah. just crossing the path and just stood 10 feet from me. Uh, just looking at me, you know, turning the head and yeah. just looking. And, and it, it was it was a young deer too. She was limping a little bit there, uh, but uh, that's it was so close. Like you could almost touch it. Yep. You, know, you don't want to touch it, but <laughs> you could. Yeah, you definitely. Deer are curious by name. And Thomas, yeah. welcome. Good to have you here. Deer are naturally curious. Like there's a lot of things that's uh, here is illegal to do. Like uh, what people used to do an old baiting trick was to take an oasis. Um, those juice remember they used to be like a like a kind of like a rectangle shape they'd poke a hole in the juice That's hang it on a wall and let it drop onto a pie plate a tin pie plate you know with a five foot drop and just that tink, tink, tink was enough it would bring deer out of the woods just out of their curiosity moose are the opposite they're very very shy they do not like to be seen um They'll do anything to be avoided. And you wouldn't think something that big at a thousand, not that one, but a full one at a thousand, 1100 pounds could walk 20 feet behind you through those thick groves and you wouldn't even know they passed. Rumptious, what's going on? Yes, that's right, Anja. When any animal has a young, you do not want to be close to them. That's why I say I always use that. I had it on a zoom there because use your zoom and not your legs. Oh, yeah, yeah, you don't want to, that's why you don't want to go closer just to see them. People sometimes, bears, yeah. they do that just to see it. Or whales lately, that's what this problem in Canada is now. Yeah. Uh, on BC side, people are going too close to whales, and unfortunately they get hit by blades and stuff and get washed out on the shore, so now it's a ban. Yeah. Uh, you can't get uh, closer than 200 meters, I think, to any kind of whales. Um, so, yeah. And it's dangerous, too. I don't know exactly. why somebody would want to do it. Take yeah. a picture. I'm, as, as a photographer, like, any picture is not worth your life. It's just not worth it. So, scrumptious first day at work at a plant is going on. How are you guys? We're doing great. How's how is your first day going? That's excellent. And three hundred for uh, the uh, brown. Oh my goodness, God, thick. <laughs> I'm so bad. Oh, today. Uh, brown Scott. Oh, you guys are really doing yeah. well. Excellent. Oh, sorry, and no I don't know if you heard, but Rolling Homestead is is back to their two thousand see six from 2000 so we were oh. laughing that they always come here for their um for oh. their milestones and who remember? is again rolling yeah oh well wow. they all always come here for a thousand or 15 and then every time they they reach their milestone on our channel oh my god well let's yeah. see so I, I i love the tradition yep they're missing five now Missing five. Hey guys, you wanna Yankee, hello Yankee, hello. what's going on? Yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you so much for the message and for the yes. sunset. Guys, sorry, I don't mean to repeat ourselves, but if Yankee's in here, I just gotta show him that video again. I apologize. Uh I don't mean to be uh uh redundant, but I gotta just get Yankee, this was our drive yesterday. We were in the Parc de la Gaspésie. It's a, a provincial park. We're driving back uh, to Montreal. 
and I wouldn't be right not to show you this one. <laughs> we actually wanted to shoot more uh, see, but we were both of us are both sick and uh, burnt out. <laughs> but when we go home next time, we're doing it on the way down. We have a plan because we're not missing another. Uh, we have uh, one of. There's our moose that we seen yesterday. Hey, wait, wait, it's gonna come. It's gonna come, uh -huh. Yankee. There is a better there is a better angle where you can see it even better. If you can't show a moose to Yankee outdoors, there's not use shooting it. So like with camera, with camera before anybody says anything. <laughs> uh, scrumptious model trends. Andrew has an allergy of wood. There you can see it now. And uh it's uh, we've been working outside a lot. Andrew has been working outside with wood as well, so that's what's just on today. Uh, we just couldn't stay away from you guys, so we had a break breakdown with the truck later on after this, and we lost most of the day getting it repaired. So we uh... <laughs> there, I go. Shot there. Oh, yes, Stephanie, it is the best. I love it. Oh, my God. Blue Wrench craze. <laughs> Stephanie posted her Blue Wrench group selfie. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I love it. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Mauer Man, hello. And Panic D's are in, too, today. It's so good to have all you guys here. My Patsy, God. Patsy, hello again. I've seen you the first time. <laughs> yes, we love it. You could say hello a thousand times, Patsy, and I didn't get to say hello to you a while ago, so I missed you a lot. It's great to see you. All of you. Find a local honey farm and buy local honey. Eat one teaspoon a day. It will help you with your allergies. That's I'm a good up for idea. anything. Uh, yeah. I'm, Xenia's glad to have you on her side because she's always telling me to do stuff like that. And I'm like, ah, I'll get to it after. So yeah. she's very happy to have you along. And, uh, uh, we were going to do a video for you that we talked about on Twitter on the way back home. But unfortunately, the mountain, uh, we wanted to do it in the mountain park. But the mountain park was full of fog since we left at 6 o'clock in the morning. So we are going to do it. Uh, tweet DM you. Uh, we have a plan in our heads. So we're going to DM, DM you about it um okay guys rolling homestead if anybody hasn't signed up yet let's help them out they're five away if you can let their friends know because they, they are a great channel i mean and uh, they're five away from 2000 that would be really cool to see them hit it that's what i was actually going to do and uh, uh just before yankee came in and i want to show them that video but let's see here yeah, uh, uh, I agree about the honey. The thing is, he has allergy from spruce, um, like when sap, you, yeah. yeah, from sap. So when you like work on it and things like that, so that's when. And I'm a bit bullheaded. I like getting into it with a chainsaw all the time, and course, he tells me not to. Before that, so you know how men are. Not Trisha, not hello. contrary at all. No, no, within hiking distance. Hello. Patsy said, hi, I miss you, Andy, and I can't even do anything because my eyes are so sore. I think that's the only thing keeping me tonight from having your laugh at me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, um, Colorado, Martini. What's the cocktail for tonight? Two more to go. Let's get that up here. Yep. Let's get let's, that up uh, here. Let's get rolling homestead. There are 2,000. You are right, exactly. I know how we are. We are right. <laughs> <laughs> One more to go, guys. One more for Rolling Homestead. If you can tell your friends if you joined already, let's get them over to. Let's see them hit two grand right here. I think that's always cool to see. I love these milestones for people. Quit bathing in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, you know. But sucker for punishment. <laughs> Because then he would have nothing to nag me about if I did all this stuff. Uh, <laughs> Trisha G got 3K the other day. Mm. Oh, that's amazing. A creative Holy flurry. Wow. Hello. Hey, Hi. we got it. 2,000. Yay. Rolling on steps. Well Congratulations. Done. Good job. That's excellent. I'm, I'm really happy for you. You got an amazing channel. You deserve it. And uh, this is just the beginning for you. You keep up the good work, my friend. Well done. 
Anybody hasn't seen their channel yet? A great channel. Oh, wow, it's subscribed and the bell is still pushed. I'm surprised. Yes, uh, AT ATGH uh, messaged us uh, a couple of days ago on Instagram. Um, that it's been a very big problem lately. Uh, YouTube unsubscribing mm. and un undoing the bells and yep. stuff like that. And uh, we have had it for the longest time already. Guys, it's so good. We're not to, not tonight, but because we're not in the shape for it. But very soon we're gonna start. We have to have another shout out series. I love doing them too much. It's yeah, too much fun hanging with you guys. Saturday. Yeah, we'll play it by ear. Our and, daughter is going on a, uh, to the camp. Patsy, our next call, our next shout out. You gotta come because we gotta get you up. Uh, we gotta get you over a thousand. This oh is yeah, ridiculous. and this yeah. is the best way to do it because yeah. we uh, show we get you we play a game. Yep, it's fun. Exactly. And then if you win a game, you get the screen time. Your yep. your channel. We talk about your channel. We show off your channel. It's not. It's just uh, to be fun. It's just uh, fun. It's just fun. It's not sub for sub. It's uh, it's just to have fun. It's it's a it's a great way to mingle with everybody and everybody stays around. I still believe because we do it like a game, so it keeps everybody active in here and uh, it's good for everybody. So, and why yep. Emma? Uh, you lost three subscribers. No, uh, no, no. I don't no. think it's because you post about their daughter's channel. It just happens all the time. It's sub mm. sub on sub automatically. Some people just do it. Yeah. Sometimes it's just YouTube does it. Oh no, God. Oh Yankee, Anything thank but... you so much for dropping in. Yes. And uh, did you check my sunset uh, on Instagram, my latest picture? I, I, when I took it, I was thinking about you and your sunset pictures. And uh, I was showing my father, by the way, your uh, some of your work when I was home, and that, and uh, the, 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 also the Instagram that you sent us there when you were doing the time lapse. That was phenomenal. Like I absolutely love that. The big fans. Uh, Abdu, hello to Welcome. Egypt and Helos and Heathens. Hey, Hi. how are so you? Guys. Oh, missed, missed you guys you so much. Uh, Unapologetically comes. Hello. Look at that. Panic D. Oh my God Almighty. Dinosaurs in Gettysburg. Yeah. yeah oh, that's, that's cool. interesting. And Patsy says, uh, sorry, Patsy, my eyes today are so blurry. It's hurting. Did you see that I won Rant Jam song contest? No, I didn't, but I we will definitely check it. We haven't watched any videos, unfortunately, even the ones that we've been shouted yeah, out in. Uh, I know. Starting that... with Gators, uh, the Legends video. Yeah. We still, we, we haven't been on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. We didn't have internet, so we are uh, in the works of doing all that, but we'll definitely check it out. Um, I've seen that uh, somebody hit 300 in the Woods with Wolf. Sorry, God hit uh, 300 and going to have the challenge mm. of crazy burger eating and <laughs> in the woods that's right uh saw your twitter post and ran on youtube oh yeah we just came home yesterday we had a very workout heavy uh vacation yesterday our truck broke down so instead of eight hours of traveling we had like 18 hours of traveling but uh, that's okay yeah so we're back and we just uh, we missed you all so we decided to come in and say hi uh, you should be in Canada at the end of the month. Mm. Step. Oh. In Toronto or Ottawa? Where? Where Where are we meeting you? Or St. Louis de Haha -ha or yeah. Elbow, Saskatchewan? I'm serious. <laughs> where are we meeting you? Um, a 19 away for 300 skinny Japan. Oh, that's great. Uh, well, thank you, Abdu. Thank you. Appreciate so much. Uh, Within hiking oh. distance. Bad day losing subscribers. Oh, that guys, that happens. Yeah. I know the summer is hard on that one. A lot of people on vacation. <laughs> YouTube playing its tricks. It's a bunch of things. It's, you know, it, it sucks so badly. But Toronto, yeah. that's... Mm -hmm. Actually, let's check. I'm gonna check with you. Could right. Toronto is a Joey's field, so yeah, maybe you can catch up with a Joey. Would love to see you. Can you like redirect yourself to Ottawa? Yes, <laughs> at least. Holy God, Rolling Homesteads up to 2004. Excellent. No, we haven't been to Egypt, although I would love to. Yes, definitely a bucket list. Yeah, we have traveled a lot, but not to Egypt. That would be cool. Hopefully one day. Toronto is in part of Canada. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, almost missed you too. I look rested. Thank you. That's what makeup does to you. <laughs> what about that? <laughs> and that's 
uh, within hiking distance. See, he oh. doesn't have makeup on. I do. So. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> yeah, that's why it looks like that's more normal. With makeup, without makeup. With makeup, without makeup. It was half an hour of putting something on in order to look better today. So. Oh, you guys are too funny. Oh. Uh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. Let's let's call each other. I'll talk about it. I, like, mm. I mean, it would be amazing. Love to see you. Because we might still be home at that time, so it would be great to catch up. Guys, I'm seeing you saying you lost subscribers. This is a good time to also check people in the chat make that you know you're subscribed to. Make sure you're still subscribed to them. Like I just checked Creative Lori as well. I checked within hiking distance. Uh -huh. And make sure that YouTube isn't uh, playing tricks. Hello, Dr. Stan. Uh, How are you? you? Uh, and Patsy, yes, a lot of people are reaching their goals and beginning to get monetized. Sure. Cheers. Yes, yes. Uh, we too got monetized last oh, That's this right, week? this week. This week, Monday. Yep. It took, what, three weeks? Yes, it was three. actually yep. really quickly. I We never yep. really thought it would be so quickly. Kind nope. of thought uh, it would be by the end of September, maybe. But uh, yeah, we got our email. Da -da -da -da. Mm -hmm. So uh, thank you so much, everybody, yes. for, for without helping a, us get there. Without you guys, none of this would have happened. You have no idea how many things you guys put into motion for us that we never thought would happen. Uh, it's unbelievable. It yes, really, thank you. you. You always come through for us. I hope we do the same for you. We try our best, and if we don't on something, please ask us. We'll always try our best in anything we can do. You may need some makeup within hiking distances. <laughs> Me? Yeah. A lot. <laughs> uh, kilos are monetized too. Congratulations. Oh, good job, guys. Way to go. That's Excellent. really good. Uh, three months it took for Dr. Sten. Well, because I think you applied for it earlier than we yeah, did. Yeah, we're starting to get rid of some of the backlog, yeah, I think. Uh, so that's why we just applied for it like mm. literally three weeks ago. So um, thank you so much, Colorado. Thank you. That's Cops! Right. Hey! Better get your super chat thing on. Nah, I don't know. We'll think about we're that. We're still a long ways from there. You can still uh, get 5,000. I think so. But even, even mm. so, I... We are coming up with a plan for season two yeah. uh, with uh, things uh, to offer m more more in depth uh, and more variety than we did in our season one. There's going to be some add-ons and some uh, some great things to come. But uh, super chat, I don't know yet. We'll see. Not not saying no, but uh, not in the plans yet. And uh, living uh, life in Illinois is still waiting. That's okay. Uh, what? Derpy dude, you've been here before, right? Uh, I believe probably, but it, as I said, it, it takes off after a while, yeah, if, because it, I guess it can only have so many at the same time. Uh, you can monetize if you monetize, you can turn it on. Oh, really? I thought you have to reach 5,000. Yeah, me that. too. I thought, but we'll see. I, yeah. I don't know. I, I really don't think it's the best way to get to be supported because I mean. I think 25% is YouTube gets 25, yeah, 25 or 30. Uh, but as I said, not, not saying no, but we'll uh, see uh, how we're going to proceed. Larry Johnson, what's season. going on, my friend? How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. A heavy metal magnet. You rock as well. Another one I was discussing, another channel I discussed with my dad when I was home, <laughs> and I showed him a few. Like, I find it so interesting what you're doing. And uh, living life in Illinois, well, when you reach your thousand and four thousand, uh, you have to apply for it. So once you see that you can get monetized, uh, you have mm. to submit a whole bunch of things there. Yeah? Yep. And uh, and then once you receive an uh, email, uh, then it's automatically um, applied to your channel. But you but you gotta apply for it. Yeah. It's not automatically done. Like some people don't want to get monetized. Yeah, exactly. Example, some so people don't, don't want to be bothered with it. Mm. Yeah, but you have to do press buttons, so to say. Uh, you could do Streamlabs. What is Streamlabs? Tell us about it. Mm. Oh. And Helos, yes, right. You were monetized before that. That's right. And yeah. and you got it back now. That's great. Uh, Larry Johnson, we're doing great. We're uh, well, doing great. And both of us feel awful, but we're doing good. It's just good to be back with you guys. Just did it as a protocol, not expecting anything, and a couple of friends. Did it just to be cool? Oh, that's nice, Hale. Yeah. I'm so happy you guys got monetized. I really am. Congratulations once again to you guys. You know, 
Well, exactly. And especially, guys, you're doing your podcast thing, yeah. uh, you know, as you're saying, uh, it's not yet uh, a huge uh, income source for that. Although I did ask to our last guest that we had, I, I don't know, guys, if, uh, if you visited us on our last live stream, we had a guest, uh, uh, a podcaster, actually, who does analyze movies and mm. uh, it's uh, truth to fact, so to say. And uh, I was asking him the same question that maybe uh, you could answer too. What do you think about CastBox uh, prime time, uh, so to say, uh, podcast where you can actually pay for subscription to podcasts? Are you going to do that or not? Because that's something that is now, I think, changing a lot uh, in podcast uh, uh, scene. And I also have read a lot that lately advertisers actually are enjoying podcasts more yes. because you can have longer, um, uh, commercials, so to say, you know, yeah. people are talking more about it and that counts as a commercial time instead of having a set time in the videos. So, uh, you know, advertisers are more turning to podcasts now. So you are, uh, you know, it, it might turn all around, uh, but I'm really interested. What do you think about the prime time uh, cast box thing now? And uh, Cariolis, thank you. I will check it out. Add-ons for OBS, and they have a PayPal donation thing. Yes, uh, for now it's great, and I will check it out. And it's great for now. I do know that YouTube is in the long-term plans. If you go and look on their forum, uh, they're planning to get rid of uh, yeah. PayPal uh, enabled things. So, like they want to be everything available on their channel basically march is going to be from teespring uh right away like you, you will be able to do to purchase it from the channel but it has to be from teespring okay. and it's going to be embedded the same as with the uh, you know, paying system there's going to be lots of changes which in a way is good and some of some are better some are not too good uh and one of them is that they're going to try and um uh, get rid of paypal um links not yet uh and uh oh yeah one good thing about it was is that the, what they're gonna do and i'm excited for that is that you're gonna be able to do a live launch of a pre-recorded video so if you have a cinematic video uh that you post you actually are able to uh enable chat at the same time so you kind of have you know both of best worlds you you launch the video and then you have a chat at the same time so people coming to watch it for the first time could actually talk with other people at the same time you can interact with your viewers and it's not only on the live streams which is good for people especially for those who don't have live streams uh, i think it's a great way of interaction so i'm excited for that update um helos have been offered sponsors but turned them down as of now we aren't a fan of charging for podcasts because most don't so yeah well that's what he was saying too uh and that's what the whole debate was and uh, yeah i I'm, i don't know uh, you know we are not in the podcast uh, world so not you know can't really talk about it but on the other hand it makes me think of youtube prime time you, like YouTube Red and, and Amazon Prime and all those things that used to be for free too, and now they're charging and people are paying. So the question is what what additional content you would have to uh, add to your podcast um, in order to, to have it in, a, in that. It's an option though, it is an option. And I do think that advertisement is gonna flow into that more because it is a, a, a longer advertising now available is on podcasts than it is on, on, on videos, so. Especially with YouTube trying to get rid of uh, embedded uh, uh, promotions, so to say. So, uh, only big pods charge, and ninety percent of pods are not big enough to do that. So I wouldn't pay to listen. Yeah, no, it makes sense. I agree too. Like, I mean, there's so many now podcasts for free, so it kind of does raise a question. But in a way, maybe it is like having a. Um, like support the same as people would be paying for super chat let's say here um maybe that would be the way to support your channel i don't know i don't know it, it's it's an open question and and yeah it's it's interesting thank you terrell thank you uh may I eventually remy more because youtube wants to control the payment so that they can get their cut of the action exactly exactly yes everything is going to be embedded if you uh, Read the YouTube forum and YouTube updates. They all talk about their plan for this year. What I have been talking about, they want to implement in this year till the end of the year. 
And that's exactly what they, they want to do. They want to have everything available from your channel, the paying, the, the merch, anything there. So you wouldn't go anywhere else and yeah. your viewers wouldn't go anywhere else. Linus Tech Tips put it really good a couple of years ago. Five and a half years ago, they started their forum. And the whole reason why they started their forum was they already felt the writing on the wall was starting with YouTube, how it wanted to isolate itself from all other social medias. So in case something went bad one day, at least it could get the core of their viewers to know that they moved to wherever. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's not something new. It's just, it's been long in the it's actually been long overdue what they're doing. Yeah. Sorry, the neighbors bringing back the keys. Oh yeah, I yeah. figured. Uh, uh, what about do we think about Patreon? I think it's a good uh, it's a good platform. Yeah. There are uh, different ways of doing it, um, similar ways as well. Patreon obviously is the biggest one right now. Um, I do like that they have started to rebrand them instead of uh, having a donations. It's more like um, uh, support the business. Uh, so instead of feeling it like a charity thing, um, which lots of businesses didn't want to do because of that, mm -hmm. it is more tended to be like more of, okay, you subscribe the same as you would be subscribing, you know, you pay and then you get more content. So their rebranding strategy, I think is working really well for that. People are getting away from the charity word and more support the creators, which is great. Um, it's something we have considered, and I think we might get into that. And there's lots of free content that we can uh, um, offer for people who would maybe get into that. Mm. But uh, it's in the works. It's sort of been working as well. Uh, uh, during the summer, we have been working on that too, uh, to come up with a plan. Because uh, definitely, if there would be something like that, there would be extra things that we would offer uh, for people who would uh, uh, use that. Um, it's all in the works. Yeah, yeah I just need some forward equipment is taking a beating. Blinkos, hello. hello. Mm. I'll be Scott. Yes. How are you guys all Jim Apple. The trailer park says, hey, y'all. Right back at you, Obi. <laughs> we might take a trip this summer if we can swing it over to Nova Scotia, where they film the trailer park boys as well in Dartmouth and that, so. Um, Patreon is kind of like a gift plus reward system with yeah. bonuses for money. Do push this videos what naked? Do uh, Donated. Donate. Oh, that's cool. For uh, people that want a little more, Patreon is nice. I have blooper reels and private chat stickers. Yes, patrons. Yes, exactly. Yes, exactly. Exactly. And there's lots of uh, online content that uh, because we are photographers, graphic designers, videographers, there's lots of content that can be offered as part of a business as well. So we are working on that plan. But as I said, yeah. the Patreon is not the only place to do it. Uh, there are a couple other ways of doing it, too. So we're just looking at all the options. Yeah. What are you two talking about? We're talking about... Uh... Well, somebody had asked us because we're monetized now if we we're going to do super chat, but we're not sure of anything yet. We're looking yeah. at maybe something in Patreon. Amazon is doing the same thing, by the way. Uh, Amazon is jumping into that as mm. well. So as I said, look out. It's not just uh, Patreon. Patreon is the biggest right now. Uh, and he has talked about that himself on the last, latest VidCon. He actually was mm. talking that he knows that uh, there's other uh, jumping on and he's actually supporting it, yep. uh, you know, because it is the way uh the system like kind of the whole uh, world of creating and creators out there is turning around and and people are getting more uh fine like they get money for for working as creators which is great uh you know i'm gonna mute for a second i gotta call my son there i didn't think you guys wanted to listen to me do that <laughs> i forgot to grab uh coffee so <laughs> you did uh yeah what, what is that river ben longbow is outdoors amazon has reached out to me so i think i'll dive in mm -hmm. it's an yeah. amazon partner program yeah. probably you're talking mm -hmm. about and uh which is great uh it's good you get your affiliate link uh you get your discount uh which is good for you too if you yeah. shop uh, in it definitely and, uh, it's, it's it's good way of having that affiliate link jim apple i became great uncle to two twin little girls well congratulations, congratulations. Good, good for you oh, so, sweet. so happy for you Coffee stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh my god, I need it. <laughs> and uh... yes, you need to be diverse as a marketing. <coughs> but as I said, the thing with us is that 
uh, like we have been working before, uh, some of our content for our day-to-day -day business is online. Uh, obviously, photography, videography, you can't, you know, you have to go to the client. Yeah. But there are things that we are doing online as well uh, with that. So we might merge a little bit and, and, and put kind of part of that into uh, Thank you, sir. whatever we choose for support program for, for our YouTube, because uh, YouTube is not what is our day-to-day -day thing as we've always said it's it's our um you know we're having fun here yeah uh, and mostly it is to bring attention it's to one of the things business. we understand yeah. a good bit about it's just that we didn't plan on doing this mm -hmm. so it's just kind of getting everything you know in order and that yeah uh, just in time prepping so welcome we're my definitely friend definitely merge it with our actual professions and offer some stuff that we are uh, actually doing as part of a business too so yep that would be a bonus for sure something i we're talking about lately is is because we're upgrading a bit of equipment but because we the live streams don't generate much revenue is maybe that's something we'll work into the patreon like to have a goal of something to start and then we can also offer something but like it's just talk right now it's, yeah uh, and yes halos it's uh, halos is so yeah. right adsense doesn't pay nothing no. like comparing uh, to all the other ways you can get yeah. uh in passive income so to say i call it because mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it generates you know besides you too but uh you can there are so many other ways how to do it and adsense is the least amount of money really our main reason for doing wanting to get monetized was to, at least once you're monetized chances are YouTube will give you a tiny bit more of a push because they can get a little bit of money off you. They make a ton off all the little channels where we don't make much. Mm -hmm. But that was the main reason was was to get more coverage. That was the whole goal from the beginning. Well, yeah, because especially for like Canada area, when you search for certain things, it would come up more because yes. we are in Canada. Uh, so therefore, it comes up more on Google and things like that. So it helps Definitely. our day-to-day -day business, which is uh, the main, main <laughs> incentive why we were doing this to begin with um between all the sites about 50 us between all the sites about 50 us they've they, he's gotten mm. and he says i have t-shirt merch too but yet to sell a single one yeah they see that's another thing too it, it isn't it's yeah, yeah it, it takes time and building up something uh also, we <laughs> hi have kathy <laughs> how are you we have uh, looked into that as well about the merch. The thing is, uh, most of the dropship companies are charging, like, again, 85% for selling it. Uh, so if you sell a T-shirt for $20, you uh, earn five, you know, and the rest goes to the company. It kind of feels unfair that you are uh, asking people to buy your merch, but yet you, they want to support you. But at the end, at the end they yeah. end up paying more to the company, you know, to you. So it, uh, again, there are other options that we're looking at um, that we're gonna come with up with for the season two as well. I'm just letting this run in the background because just in time and then uh, we didn't take much footage while we were home. I had all these plans, all batteries charged. I got my new Z access. I was gonna shoot all kinds of things and I never got to shoot it basically nothing. I never even took the camera out of the bag. Yeah. You shot a couple of pictures. A couple of pictures, yeah. Cops, well, what are you using? And I mean, it depends. What are you charging for? Uh, it's just the base is eight to fifteen dollars, depending on the website that you use. The base price. So whatever you put on top is what you what is your gain. But you know, I, I, I don't want to put forty dollars for a T-shirt. So there are other options to look for it too. But uh, so open to any information for that. Spreadshirt is pretty good. It's a much higher percentage, like twenty dollars. You should would get you twelve dollars. Well, yeah. Well, that's what I'm mm. talking about. But then, if you want to sell more than a T-shirt, well, how much is going to be that? If you're just going for T-shirts, then yes, maybe twenty dollars is fine. But then, if you want to sell something more than that, well, how much people are going to pay for, uh, you know, a cup or uh, I don't know, a pen or, or a hoodie or things like that. You know, I'm not going to pay 50 bucks yeah. <laughs> as much as I love you guys. But merch it's is, merch is a real rocky. Yeah. It, it, it's not a. Teespring. Teespring is good, but I do find it's expensive. Meaning, again, that you have to put the high uh, a margins in order to even get anything to get people buy it. I worked in marketing for seven years for some major, major lines like Marshall and all this stuff. And believe me, even at the top, it's not an easy market. It's a very, very 
hard and a cutthroat market to work into. I have looked into Society6, for example, which is not as popular on YouTube, but it is a good uh, option because you can actually do more things. You can turn your... Um, take care, River. You, your, uh, you'll be well. You take Sorry. it, take it, uh, yeah, take care. You can t uh, turn your visuals into uh, lots of things like bath mats and pillows and things like that. Like there's thousand and one different things you can do, which I find is a bit better. Um, Penny D, the cost is minimal, and you know, you know, it's pennies on the dollar. I mean, we were ordering our stuff, it was being brought over from China. I was doing all the brands there and bringing it over, and yeah, it's it's unbelievable how cheaply those shirts are made. But the shirts are cheap, but I mean, to print on demand though is can't be that cheap. I mean, because they're not using the old sliding press; they're actually doing the I forget the name of the terms now. It's been so long. Screen press, and uh, I don't know. So they're not doing them overseas by the shipment size, depending. The the the, the worst part for us is the the shipping costs. Yes, uh, because. Uh, uh, Canadian post is very expensive. Oh, uh, so like if it would be in Europe, I would be just almost hand drawing themselves yeah. myself and sending them all over the place because like from Latvia, sending stuff is pretty cheap. But the other way around, uh, it's very expensive. And that's one of the reasons why I'm looking to 15 different directions, as Kaf was saying, trying to find ways that would work best because I don't feel right that uh, most of the, like, as I said, pricing goes to the company if hey. you want to support channel. Hey, Gator, how you doing? Good to see you here in uh, Cami SS. Great to have you here as well. Just wanted to catch up with some of you have been dropping by and that. So, marriage. <laughs> yeah, I have best for Steph. Hey, oh. pal, honey. Yeah. Super chat is 25% goes to... Uh, so if somebody dis if there is two dollars people donate that's fine but if somebody decides to give you 50 well you know it's just the more they give you the more they pay to youtube yeah I don't know. it's it's just like coriel says I, I and he's right the u.s drop shipping is best uh, yeah. that's why teespring definitely we, we agree 100 yeah. percent on that it's uh it's a market that used to be only open to the big guys. All this stuff is so recent that you can do this because the most expensive shirt you'll ever print is the first one ever made, but now it's not working that way anymore. Mm -hmm. Yes, if you order a huge amounts, then the price drops, but most people now have the access to do it. So even if you make a couple of dollars, at least the options there where it was never there before. But And yes, Stephanie, I also looked at what are you going to correct from that marriage word. I'm like, what? Hmm. <laughs> You're already married. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's out of correct. And... Um, uh cami ss uh, hello and gator hi hello we are yet to see the video that you posted yes, two weeks I, ago that's what i wanted to say a while we ago we left yeah just uh yeah. right before you did it so we know you had it mm -hmm. we haven't seen it yet we just came home literally haven't seen any videos yet so uh we definitely thank you so much but we're gonna definitely go and see that and i agree kathy jim is on a roll tonight <laughs> he's uh, he's back to his old self <laughs> he's feeling good so so you, can, you can make some money by donating his body to science. Yes. <laughs> it's always a good fundraiser. Um, uh, Miss Kathy, by the way, thinking about you, uh, yes. I read a little bit here and there. I'm not really sure exactly, but I do understand that you need some prayers and, and good thoughts. Yes. Uh, so definitely will be thinking about you a lot, a lot, a lot. It was uh, sad to hear that. And uh I, I, you get through I it, you be trust. strong, and you are already strong, and know that we're all behind you, and send you all the love and prayers you can handle. So It's like people enjoy giving them super chats more. Well, yeah, yeah I know. Yes. Because there is a rush to it, and I get that. You know, I just don't want to waste anybody's, we don't want to waste anybody's and money. I said, you know? As I said, it's, we're not saying no to that. Yeah, no. Uh, I mean, we still might do it. Mm -hmm. It's just, um, yeah. it's just different ways of doing it, and we'll see what exactly are we doing as our main route so yeah uh and that's right stuff it's instant gratification for yeah stuff. and it's fun i mean it's a rush for everybody you know i don't know i just don't do you know uh do you know of any uh do any of you know the other video sites sorry remy you, do any of you use the other video oh sites? use uh, uh, Sorry, I uh, yeah, I'm still having trouble seeing tonight. Yeah. I should just not read anything. We uh, I used to before we went on YouTube. We used to uh, use uh, 
know how it's called. V Vim uh, Vimeo. Yeah. Vimo, Vimo. But then it started to charge. It was for free. Yeah. And then it put the limitation on upload and charging. So we're not using that anymore. Um have been looking some things. Um but again, since it's not our main thing that we're doing, um, it's not really our focus. Have checked. There's nothing really yet. Uh, Instagram tried it. Um, it's getting there. We'll watch and see. Facebook, it's only available uh, mm. in US, unfortunately. I would love to pop on that one, but that's only on US. Jaded's here. Hey, how you doing? We've got Windy City. We've got Sophia's passion for cooking. So good to see all you guys. In Windy City, uh, yeah, yeah, we're talking about longer. March, yeah, yeah, and uh, Panic D yeah. did uh, did it by themselves because they have the equipment, yeah, that, that cost you yeah. some money to send us that. I know, kit. my goodness, you guys made it. I feel bad, like I didn't want to open the box. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I've seen it, you're crazy. <laughs> um, daily motion, motion yeah. daily motion's always been kind of it's good to get it up. I mean, it doesn't hurt to have it somewhere, but daily motion's kind of that. They got a lot for ripping off uh, videos and stuff like that. Uh, people, I don't know. It's it's a very murky water daily motion. The good cell life. How you doing? Good to see you. Thank you, Kathy, and good cell life. Oh, uh, so so. Oh, that's nice, Kathy. Thank you. Yeah, and cops. Yes, it's only for us right now. They're cops. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're all a team. And never forget that we all work to help get each other up. We've been there when everybody was down. Um, we missed you guys very, very much while we were away, and we have to go away again. The house is a lot of work to get ready, especially when it's so far away. But don't think that we never think of you guys. We don't. We appreciate you guys, and we all get through together. We're all growing together. So, uh, Jaded, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned you. I meant to. I'm so glad you're here. Hope the bees are doing well and everything's well on the on the homestead. I just opened two shops on sp uh, Spreadshirt. Have you looked into it? Jade, it says Spreadshirt. Have you? Um, Let's see here. Spreadshirt.ca. Yes, yeah, I have used, I have tried it, yeah. I have tried, I have profiles in 15 places to try out <laughs> different ways because I want to see how it works first before it goes uh, into release so yeah spreadshirt teespring we want to make a uh, merch Pusha, com. we want to make a pucha studios limited edition thong that's what yeah, we want to open society with. six yeah. as i said i like because it's a bit different mm. um but uh, we'll see what we go with it'll be for the thong will be ps and if you stretch it all the way out then it will say pusha studios yeah the rating system <laughs> same as the matching top it could be like pns and it fills out well then you get your push studios what about amazon prime are they yeah. trying to do a twist on youtube kind of uh not not exactly but kind of yes they are trying to kind of go that way and see where it goes so but if it fills out one cup can more than the other because the studios is a bigger word so that means you got something kind of off balance going on good gauge uh, M says that uh don't think Spreadshirt has any thongs. Sorry, yeah. guys. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, that Society6 might have it. That I said it has a... Check it out. Society6, it's more for people who are graphic designers and stuff, but you can do your... Like, it doesn't have to be a merch site to do your merch. That's the whole thing. You can actually find places where you can create your own things and sell them without it called the merch. It's just that people who are graphic designers use them as well, and it's oftentimes cheaper for the base price. You get bigger percentage and things like that. So check that out too. I think you could pull off the studios. Do they come in six X? <laughs> Maybe you can just sell your beads of sweat when it's hot. <laughs> Thank you, Steph. Yeah, yeah. God. Ball caps, a message ball caps, because we talked a little bit uh, during yeah. our off time. Uh, Donnie, don't know. Panic D was in here. They're doing their video uh, editing as they're watching. Yes, Patsy, that would be cool. That would be cool. He can't be ignored. That's right. <laughs> thank you. I don't know if that's a compliment or not, but yeah. But thank you, Colorado, nonetheless. <laughs> I just kind of got to keep things rolling sometimes. 
This uh, is our usual banter once the camera goes off. Uh, Emma, put the link of your daughter's channel again in for those who jumped in uh, new top to nine subscribers right now. And Emma the Gang's daughter uh, is doing her horse riding thing uh, channel. So oh, check it out. Uh, do we still, uh, you said she's up to nine? Yeah. Excellent. Uh, don't know if I still have the link. Okay. We are supporting new and upcoming, just beginning, yeah. starting out YouTuber. Emma the Gang, her daughter, uh, is. Um, uh, doing a new channel about horse riding phone support you should get some gold grills or some ice for your teeth <laughs> that says push studios it's advertisement and bling just smile <laughs> <laughs> panic is on vacation still yes you are you are on actual vacation we are on vacation just by name uh, do you ever talk about ghost stories uh, well, mostly uh, Panic D videos is talking about ghost stories. Sometimes I do. This is a non believer, <laughs> so not as much. Sorry, I'm just Lush, hello. Hey, what's going on? Our fellow Montrealer. Yeah, we had a good vacation, mostly work, but uh, uh, mostly work, but we're back for a little bit. Uh, so we just decided to hop on and say hi. M. Check. Yes, it does look like a cool, cool stuff there. Ch check it out. I, I'm not, uh, like I said, I'm not promoting it because we haven't decided yet to go with it or not. But uh, it's, I really like it because it's not directly merch side. Yes. So. Where is PSPR? Hello, hello. It isn't it against you to policy to sell anything on YouTube that isn't approved by them? No, uh, not yet. Uh, you can uh, put links for your merch from wherever you want to. Um, it's going to be implemented that Teespring, you're going to be able to buy stuff from the channel, not going onto the website. So Teespring is going to be embedded into YouTube channel. If, if you have a Teespring merch, uh, people will be able to click shop or whatever, buy button. Uh, without going on to Teespring's channel, it's just exactly from yours. It's it's not against the rules. You can't, uh, you know, they are not selling merch yet. JDS, directly. it's good to see you. I was wondering how you're doing. Uh, I was going to drop by uh, Canadian Drone Network, and I didn't get a chance. We just got back yesterday, so I hope you're doing well. Hope all those guys are doing well. I want to stop and see them. We passed, but our, since our plans got delayed by seven hours, <laughs> that wasn't in the cards. Oh, yes, that would have yeah. been cool just to kind of do a little You can drop only in. put approved links in cards. On, no, yeah, but mm. you don't have to put them just on cards. What about yeah. the people that uh, are them. businesses, for example, like us or mm. bigger businesses that have their own merch made by themselves? Well, they don't make merch in Teespring. They just sell their own T-shirts. So, mm. uh, you know, it's not... It's not forbidden. It's just the ways you advertise. It's a bit different. And Laj, what happened to your channel? What? All the videos. Ah, I hope you reported it. Yeah, what happened? Yes, M. I, that's why I'm saying it's 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 affiliated. It's great, but then you got to think what limitations are on it. So, Jim Apple, you're not going to believe this, but I had a small part in a movie once. Oh, really? I never know with Jim how it's coming, so you definitely piqued my curiosity. Hey. Uh, then how you end the game described to or Taylor's channel. Yeah, I agree with him hiking distance. A really cool channel she has yeah. there. She's done really well. And JDS says Roger's flying his spark. Uh, I'm thinking about getting uh I think it's almost time to make the pl the plunge. So too. Yeah. <laughs> Drone time. Mm. Was See you all at our show on when is it on? Today? And anybody new, if you can, I'd love if you guys can, to, if you like what we're doing here, please subscribe. And uh, we're going to have more stuff coming on. Uh, we're on holidays right now. We're back and forth. We have another season of interviews coming very, very soon. Uh, let's see here. Here's a new one I just seen, a new channel, TWG7. Oh, 
Uh, years ago, my life changed when I was diagnosed with severe fibromyalgia. Being fiercely independent was no longer possible. Pick so, me, pick me. I have fibromyalgia, girl. Yep. Uh, so if you would like to talk about it, uh, if we can talk about it. Yep. We'd love to connect with you. I'm uh, yep. always there. Uh, I'm really open. If you have any questions, if you want to share anything about you, uh, we'd love to connect with people who have uh, same experiences. See, guys, that's why an about page is so important. There's a great example. We're live, so I can't watch videos right now, but her about page told us everything we needed to know. So I can subscribe to it, got a good idea what she's doing uh, without even having to watch a video. And uh, Laj, I don't know. Um, you see, our videos are on, I think, also like three different, some kind of crazy third party yeah. video uh, websites. I think everybody's is. It's mm -hmm. not there. They're not. Well, they're not stealing it per se. Um, it's it's a gray area. Yeah. That's why I was saying about Daily Motion. I'll go. It's famous for that. They've built their whole site kind of around that. It's not so much the people who are really uploading tons to them. They're kind of like reposting videos. Yeah. <laughs> if you go, if you do a search of your channel, it's gonna come up into some weirdest uh, websites. Like if you search Bush Studios. It's going to come up not only on YouTube a video, but also on different other weird websites. But I mean, you know, it is what it is. You can't really. TWG7, thank you so much. I've been subbed to you ever since Gator the Legend went to bat for you. He was amazing. Thank you oh, so my much. Oh, goodness, yes. And uh, so sorry we're just adding you now, but a uh, pleasure to get to know you. Hopefully get to know you better. And uh, great to have you here. Uh, we were on holidays for a week. And we're back. Xenia has been helping us. We got a house and it's uh, 850 kilometers away and she was working for days and days and days on end trying to get that into. And you know, girl, how it is yeah. now. I'm so beat up now. I could probably, I also have chronic fatigue syndrome at the same time. So it's, if it's not hurting, it's super tired. So I'm just like, yay. Now I'm going to follow you on Twitter so we can connect there. Did that right now. Uh, Windy City. <laughs> Jim Apple was your line, take me to your leader. Yeah, it was so close encounters with the movie he was in. That's cool. Yeah. That's Play the part of the tall alien that came out of the spaceship and rose his hands. That's really cool. I do not mind them using my videos. What bothers me is that the searches results for my videos link to them. Yeah. Well, as I said, if you search for Push, push Studios, yeah. click on video tab in Google. And you'll see that not only YouTube has it. <coughs> Unfortunately, that's how it works. Uh, what is the other thing I have? Chronic fatigue syndrome or myalgic encephalitis. Can't even pronounce that. There you go. Doritos, what's going on, my friend? And you rock. I'm so glad to have you here. How's it going? So nice to see all you guys tonight. Wow. Him and the gang saved six opossum babies. That's amazing. Yeah, I was just reading that. Yeah, I saw that they had all been so Oh, they got through the wildlife rehab. That's nice. I hope they survived. Poor things. And yes. Go, we're going to have a call at night very soon. So get ready because we're going to have one coming up in the next couple of days. Um, you can disallow embedding in Creator Studio. Yes. That's right. That's right. But they still do a links and all that. I mean, you know, the the, the video websites from those countries and stuff the yeah. still always have been. They're using crawlers um, all the time. I mean, it's not like some guy yeah. sitting in his basement. It's so. It's automatically. Yeah. The minute you hit, uh, like, watch watch it. Go on your channel on one of those websites. And when the minute you hit post on YouTube, it's going to appear there because it's automatically yeah. linked. So. Just scouring, scouring, yeah, yeah. scouring. No, don't don't get upset about it. Uh, Jim Apple, did you become an alien before or after you ate the Snickers candy bar? <laughs> Got you so often CFS and fibro go hand in hand. Yes, exactly. Got the. Um, actually, I don't know. Have you seen my video, Millions Missing? I did a live stream, just me, uh, and I had uh, people talking in the chat about their uh, chronic pain syndrome. And I was talking about my experience, and I talk about how I got diagnosed as well. 
Oh, I learned more when I started my new treatment. I did tons of research before starting it. But... I would love to get in touch on Twitter with you. I followed you on Twitter, so if we can message each other, I would love to hear more about that, uh, um, about the treatments and stuff. Yes, the, definitely. The more information is there, the better. Uh, so definitely DM me. Love to. Uh, edit your settings and click on advanced settings to disallow embed. Yes, yeah, you can do yeah. that. But as I said, sometimes it's just. But it will help. It can it minimize it some. It's, uh, you know how it is. It's like when they uh, put new copyright on programs. There's always within days, you get a bunch of programmers who are sitting around with nothing to do in other countries, and they just find ten different ways to get around it. But if you don't use the features, then they're definitely going to do it. So I agree with you, Jada. Uh, my video, uh, Life Goes On, all about life with fibro. Cool. We'll definitely check it out for sure. You are quite a survivor. Mm -hmm. Benign brain tumor, lymphedema, and breast cancer. I'm wow. uh, all kudos to you, girl. Uh, yeah, let's yeah, let's mm. get in touch on, on yeah. Twitter. Mm. Um, so nice to be with you guys tonight. My God Almighty! Well, mm. of course, Kathy, we miss you. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> what a crazy question to even ask. <laughs> we always love having you here. You know, you guys are family. Like I say, it's been since the beginning. We've all been kind of in this together. So, it's amazing when we were talking to people back home. Like, it's like talking about your dearest, closest friends. It really is. You know, we spend a lot of time with you guys in that, you know. My doctor friend has a house in, oh, Matisse Sermo. We passed there yesterday. Yeah, that I didn't know it was in there. That's cool. And then Matisse Beach, which is right beside it, is about the only English population on the north side of the coast. Matisse Sermo, that's where the uh, famous uh, botanical garden is. Not exactly my idea of. We went there. But it was close. Yes, that was the best time I ever visited. <laughs> I was I was never so happy in my Last life. Last year we went there to see it, and it was closed, unfortunately. So we looked for outside, but it's okay. I feel like you too, Remy. For the most part, you know what it is. It just gets our name more out there. So yeah, I, I kind of feel the same way too. They're not making anything off of it, and. Um, I mean, enough to make anything, and it just makes us more relevant in searches. Of course, Team Apple. We talk about you, too. Some, uh, I think la uh, yeah. last week that we had uh, our live streams on, like yeah. the official live streams, we were talking about you, too, uh, that you came as a troll and yeah. <laughs> ended up into, into regular... Uh, we were talking career. about making everybody uh, mods. Yes, and we were yes, saying like yes. even you, you know, it started off as like yeah. kind of trolling around onto it, and and you became part of the family into all of oh, it. Oh yes, you know? yeah. So we definitely, of course, we miss you too. That's the thing we've taken pride in our channel for, because some channels are being bombarded with everything like trolls on nightly bases, messes, you know, fights with moderators and back and forth. We haven't had any of that because everybody, we're all, even us, is we're all on the same playing field as you guys. We've all just made this channel. And what we do with each other's channel, we make it together. So. Yeah, I think we were talking about the bread van tracker. Yes. Uh, yeah, bread tracker uh, that he has some trolls that turned into friends. So exactly. We, we consider you that too. Definitely. Um. It's a, it's a, it's it's community. It's friends. I mean, we always have some new people dropping in, which is great. But lots of people that we keep connected with and. You know, a sea full of videos on YouTube. How amazing is that when you have people that, you know, come in and know about you and are glad to see you? I mean, that's worth more than any money, in my opinion, that AdSense is going to throw your way. Yeah. Is that? Thank you, Laurie. Uh, thank you so yeah. much. Yes. We did, Jim Apple, especially when you fell from that tree. <laughs> Wendy. Wendy's another one, too. <laughs> Couldn't imagine a channel without you. I'm glad you guys are checking each other out, man. It's nice to see you supporting each other, man. One thing by doing this, we've got a lot of great channels that come in here. So it's, uh, I'd pretty much not have any trouble recommending any channel here for somebody else to go check out in a heartbeat. I Bottle cast. 
was waiting for you, Volca. No, oh, my mother loved the stories about bottle caps. I never <laughs> told her. And I told Jody today about you. And Jody said uh, that she appreciates uh, and she misses you guys and all that. Um, they have a Burmese that they rescued. He was four years old. And he's six now, a beautiful dog, Jackson. He weighed 173 pounds. He's this big, big lovable bam. goof. And uh, they just found out like two days, uh, yesterday, I think it was. That he has um, cancer on the spleen and it spread right through him and he has like probably a month to go so she's not on as much but she was said that she was thinking of you guys and she really enjoys it here she got a good laugh out of like ball caps and stuff like that and uh philip i wonder where philip is tonight uh yeah i don't know yeah we'll probably Phil. don't know like i said we were advertising yeah. with her on tonight so you know um and yes, Laurie, you know, we haven't done that, but it's a great idea. I, I also have seen uh, people doing it as a fundraising. As I said, mm -hmm. uh, they do try to get it off the charity brand right now, although it's still there as, as a practical part of it. Um, they're branding it more as a business support, but uh, it's a great way of doing it. Too. Actually, my mother's probably was watching for a while. We signed her up with a YouTube account the other day when we were home because she would catch our videos sporadically. So, yeah. Yeah, the whole family. The whole family. <laughs> no more Amsterdam stories. <laughs> no, you'd think it would stop me. But... Ah, that was that was for bottle caps. <laughs> yeah, bottle caps loves it. Yeah. Had I rescued that needs major surgery. Oh, well, go fund me, Paige. Yeah. Uh, also, it would be a good for that. I think it would be better than Patreon, really. Em and the gang, thank you so much for dropping by, and uh, we'll see you soon. Like I say, we're having keep an eye out. We're going to yep. definitely do a shout out night, and we'll get your daughter's channel uh, hopefully up again, and get some more subscribers for her. She's doing great, and uh, tell her where we really love what she's doing. Yeah, she <laughs> was. The, you have been telling that story ever. <laughs> like your podcast was the first time you ever talked about it, and I thought, okay, well. You know, not everybody is listening from who watches us, your podcast, you have a bit different audience, so that's great, you know. <laughs> but then he decided to use it like every second time, I think. <laughs> so now it's like five different live streams where he talks about this. No? I'm a creature of habit. Yeah. It would be great if the story would be about you, but no. It's about both of us. Yeah. It's yeah. a couple yeah. story. That's why yeah, it's yeah. good. And that's why exactly everybody loves it because it's about you being in that station, not me. Right. <laughs> that's right. God. Both of us together. That's why everybody loves it. It's a happy feel good story of the year. So, you know what I mean? Where is that puppy? <laughs> no, no, but everybody already heard that story. There's no, no, we're not going to tell the story. The I'm not telling the story. Sorry. Oh. Did you switch up? The... Yeah, the turn went off. There we go. There we go. Oh, Many world. channel viewing for me. Yeah, well, the same that. as uh, with us too. You know, exactly. People come in and we look for other people too. Um, I love that you guys are ch working with each other and supporting each other and finding new channels that you like through it. I mean, that's the like the greatest part of all of it. And there's our picture in all our glory in Amsterdam. A happy yeah, time. Kilos, I thought it would be more of a secret since it's not on our page. You know, it's easier that it's on, on other people's pages, like on your channel or your podcast. Because <laughs> uh, the only people, meaning that the people who watch you are going to know it, not the people who watch us. Well, Some of them might. Uh, the cat's out of the bag. You know, some of them might, uh, you know, crisscross, so to say, but uh, the, the people, what I meant is personal connections, like family and friends, are not going to know where to look for the, well, the story. Now they do. Yeah, but I miss bottle caps, so I had to share it. I have to do this for bottle caps. Yeah, that's all Andrew. I know. <laughs> I know. It's it's awful. <laughs> we look super happy is right. Jim Apple watches War of the Worlds like it's porn. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Jesus. Steve wait. was really on Jimmy's uh, oh, yeah. back today. I love those. Just like Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Uh, TG, Tiwi, oh my goodness, I'm so bad. Tiwi G7, I have started highlighting channels that are giving back to the community through networking during my week in review. If anyone knows of any that I may not know of, please drop a note in my comments. That's a good idea. Very, very great. Yes. That's right, TW. Happy equals wasted slash stone. We weren't stoned then. That came not later. <laughs> that was when I got into the mini bar that was yeah. free. We went to this amazing hotel in Amsterdam, which looked, I think it was an old port. Uh, I think it's the one that Casey Neistat did with Peter McKinnon. I, I right behind so, yeah. that bridge. Cause, uh, yes, because, yes, because, yeah. yes, exactly. So I forgot. But we stayed there before they were there. So, yeah, uh, yeah so it was hotel, but the uh, and the, the, little <coughs> mini bar which usually you have to pay astronomic amounts of money for every bottle that is there was free um, so yep. obviously before we hit the road <laughs> it was fun yeah and we usually we're not really a drinkers like we're not against it but we don't uh, like do it mm. uh, on everyday basis it's, <laughs> it's it's rare but when it's rare then it is there <laughs> we'll have a good bottle especially of when it's summer <laughs> No, I'm not telling the story. I'm telling the story about mini bar. I'm not telling the rest of it because everybody already heard that stuff. And you're it, you're instigating now. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear it. Everybody already heard it, so let's not spam the the time. But I think it was a uh, that was the hotel that if it is the same one that Casey was at, that's where he proposed to what's her name there. He proposed it. on on that. Uh, but yeah, they're staying, I think, the at the bridge. hotel behind it, though. I think I'm not positive, but. Uh, well, we can see the bridge from uh, our window. Probably there's other pictures of that. I don't know. Uh, thank you so much, Laurie. And yeah, well, just look for notifications. Uh, ring that bell and hope YouTube uh, rings it. Uh, other than that, Twitter is the best place to see if we are on or not. Uh, it's our vacation time, so. We are on our irregular schedule, going back to season two, probably sometime in August. Yeah. Uh, time uh, to come out yet. Um, <laughs> have not considered yet. Exa Excuse me, exact date. I'm just, I, it meant a lot to have all you guys coming out tonight. This is so cool. <laughs> I'm still Those laughing. Still... Charges. Yeah, yeah, there's no charges. Yeah, this time was free. That it was, was free. Whole, I don't know what happened, but it was open and free. Uh, it should be mandatory that the story gets told every single night. <laughs> yeah. Unsubscribe, unsubscribe. We're going to be losing uh, subscribers. Every friend of mine that has gone to Azure has fixed like that. Yeah. Yeah, but this is before. That's what I'm talking about. This is before. We yeah. haven't even stepped out of the hotel yet. And we only were there for 12 hours or something. Yeah. It was our layover. Like a We had to fly out layover. at 7 o'clock the next morning. Yeah. So we weren't. <laughs> Bottle cap, the best part of the story was the cab driver. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the chicken part. I don't know if the chicken, uh, the, the, me, it was the guy on the rickshaw, the bicycle rickshaw was the funniest. It's so obscene, but it was so funny at the same time because it was so, so over the top obscene. Like he was right into it there. Because I had Xenia with me, and so was, she's sitting right there. And okay, he keeps I'm going to be right back. <laughs> I'm not going to tell them, I'm just getting her going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. TWG7, the story will come back. <laughs> no, it, it, it's, uh, I was going to make the others, uh, they were going to make the others, who uh, were the worlds? One of the clips on the movie was me running through the uh, Victorville. <laughs> wow. Yeah, well, that sounds like a quite a role. Uh, within hiking distance, so good to see you. I hope the little man is doing great. Give him a big hug from us. Hope you guys are doing well. I knew it model cats. Yeah, that's what's done with the bicycle rickshaw. It's a pretty obscene story. Oh my god. I'll 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 censor it out. He just kept looking at us with Xenia sitting right beside me and he said, Do you want to go F some chicks? But he was saying the full world. And he kept looking at me with these eyes. He was from Poland on a rickshaw. And he's like, You wanna go? I want you to get a place where they can really F some chicks. And she's sitting right there. And I'm like, sure, why not? And uh yeah, he gave us the tour, ripped us off, but he was quite uh energetic. See within hiking distance is leaving already. Mm. That's what happens. Uh, just... 
Yeah, sorry, within hiking distance. That's why I kept it with the F word. I didn't want to go too far into yeah. it right now. It's not 10 o'clock. Go to he <laughs> Heroes and Heathens podcast. Uh, find the one with Bush Studios, and you can hear it right there. And there's a couple of ours, too, with it. Yeah, but there it is the first time it was told, so it's always yeah. the best. Exciting. So, yeah, go on Heroes and Heathens podcast. Yeah. Um, Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks. Yeah. Search on, on Google and with studios and you'll hear it there he's just so into it his eyes like he was more excited than we were like anything like you know yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. especially with you so that's what i found so funny with the whole thing it was like complete disregard that you were there like you know it just like it was like a couple of guys on the bachelor party or something like that no regard to it oh, yeah. Like that. yeah <laughs> well you were there you don't remember <laughs> yes welcome yeah, exactly. There, there's Kilos and Kilos, so you can click mm. on them and, and look at their channel, too. Press uh, confirm. Uh, congratulations, Three Hour. Like we say, we're going to be doing some more stuff soon. Yeah. Uh, keep uh, Just keep an eye on Twitter. Thank you so much for coming tonight. When an ad plays and you're actually excited to see it because your friend's channel got monitored, uh, is it playing? Like, how does it work on live streams? We don't even it, know. It times it out, I guess. I'm not really sure myself. myself. Tell us about it because we don't know. <laughs> and her, she, she, she blocked it out. <laughs> she might try to block it out, but it's not going to work. I'm always here to remind her. What happened with Piper bottle caps? She's done. Yeah. Cornflakes is my favorite uh, cereal, by the way. They are. And cornflakes, the original cornflakes. Not the, the no brand ones. Like the original, original. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Steve, -O, we forgot. <laughs> Yeah, I thought mm. it's not 10 mm. yet. We're not an adult food yeah. portion yet. No, so. no. Mm. It just plays. It just plays. And where does it play? Can you hear us at the same time? Yeah, that's good. Glad, because I, want, I, I didn't think that life, like, how does it interrupt the live stream? You just don't get to hear what we talk. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's weird. I have this insane amount of insane talk to text. Um, I'm collecting them for a bit. Yeah, I know. Text and talk is horrible. Oh, my God. Oh my. You have to watch Piper's video. She explains everything, and it's over. Oh, so what she's saying, it was an experiment after all? <laughs> I've been slumming it, Stephanie. <laughs> but are there any in the middle of the stream? I'm just curious. Yeah, I've yeah. never really seen that before. That's cool, though, Steph. Thanks for watching. I'm yeah. I mean, we're not going to get rich off of it. It just, it's nice. Thank you, though. That's it sucks, though, if it doesn't let them see yeah. some parts. Like, that's kind of weird. But, oh. Like I say, we were excited to get monetized because the number one thing was that hopefully YouTube would push our work a little bit more. So, you join the stream, it starts before the stream show. Hmm. That's good. <laughs> Yeah, no, text to talk is horrible. I mean, it's 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 gotten a lot better than what it used to be, but it's still, yeah. Uh, nothing like asking when you ask it the text and it asks you ten times, "Are you sure you want to send this?" What did you say again? Then cancels it and starts all you start all over again. That's where my blood pressure hits an all time high. And yes, you can talk. I'm sure you're fine with that. So, oh God. Now that you're making money off my watch time, when you're going to start giving our oh, coffee cups and T-shirts, <laughs> we spent the half the show every saying you should do that and try and support more, and then both accounts go to. <laughs> you are the best, my friend. Never let anybody change you. No. Sorry, guys. I have to keep dampening my eyes. Uh, Allergies driving me crazy. Oh, thank you. Thank you for explaining yeah. that. Yeah, should should try that from a different account or something. Like, yeah. I'm just curious, like, how mm -hmm. it do suck or it does interrupt it. That's kind of weird. I don't know if it's going to be changed or not. It's kind of neat. Like, it's ex it's exciting because we never thought we would ever get to it in a million years. Like, when we first, when I first tried to bring back the channel, I thought it was like the most feeble attempt at doing something. But then I kind of went faster than what we were expecting, and um, I don't know. I, I don't know how to feel about it sometimes. 
And it showed the philosophical first thing that <laughs> all of vocabs. That should be a t-shirt there. You should sell a t-shirt with that written on it. Yeah. We'll send a t-shirt once it gets to $20 yeah. from you. Yeah, exactly, Steph. Yes, they probably made three cents from even. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, Just, yeah. It's an ad sense. It's like. It's not something you're going to get rich on. <laughs> That's for sure. But, I mean. Even the big ones. I mean, AdSense, does, they're half their videos are blocked to make decent videos and stuff like that. What they rely on, too, is the merch and stuff. and, and Well, sponsorships, stuff. exactly. Sponsorship. Like, uh, the bigger channels have sponsors, and that's what their money comes from, mostly. Uh, AdSense, in all of the scheme, is, uh, is the smallest amount out of everything. And, uh, yeah. Oh, there we're up. Wow. We're at 12 cents. <laughs> What is that in four days? Yeah. Well, that's not bad, I <laughs> so guess. guys, we're, cents a day, you were right. We're, we're officially retiring. This is our last night. We're going to live on a beach in Maui somewhere. Oh, that's Canadian? Yeah, that's right. Oh, well, so it's 10 cents, whatever states, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great. We're, we're, we're living on high in the hog, my friends. Well, well, yeah. We're going to be living like the, uh, the clampets. What did you miss, Flubbin? We earned three cents today. <laughs> Yeah, I told you I'd give you everything, hon. <laughs> yeah. Living the dream. No, for sure. Yeah. And I mean, it does yeah. it does add up. And at yeah. the end, it is a good passive income, so to say. But yeah. what I'm saying, it, 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 you can't get rich on it, especially on the numbers that all of us here have. Uh, and even the bigger you know, bigger channels, they don't focus on AdSense. They, it's sponsorships. Have a good night, uh, Hale and Ethan. You guys take care of yourself. And yes, yeah, that's an early morning. So uh, be well. It's so great to see oh, you. Oh, they tonight. got 11 cents. See? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Good night. Good night. Yeah. I missed you. We'll go and check some of your videos, too. Uh, that's in our <sighs> next week's. Uh, scheduling as well so yeah that's true halos yeah if we convert over from canadian money you guys passed us by a couple of cents so oh my god don't forget us at the top please okay <laughs> try and take us with you we're all getting we're all getting rich hmm. yes kathy i heard about your shorts i gotta go check mm -hmm. this video i gotta go see this maybe you bottle caps <laughs> What sounds good for dinner tomorrow? Mm. Uh, ball caps uh, has always good ideas. Do you barbecue, Jim? <laughs> if you barbecue, then uh, ball caps is very good. Uh, pork chop ideas yeah. for that? Full of an epic. Uh, so uh, do I need to turn off my ad yes. block? Yes. Yeah, so you can pause it for us. Oh, my God. <laughs> Getting rich, you know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yes, exactly. Yep. We never lived in that dream world of, oh, we're going to get on YouTube and we're going to make a million dollars. Like, that's just not, especially I'm, like, beyond practical. Like, I couldn't even begin to dream stuff like that. I mean, we're already so far ahead of what we ever hoped for this channel. I mean, we rebuilt and the whole channel on the fly just because this was doing so well. You know? Um, so, yeah, saying being prepared for it would be a, a, a real lie. It... Uh, Kind of just took on a life of its own, really, when you think about it. Oh, you know? yeah, definitely. I was thinking yesterday when we were driving, a couple of years ago, our son said he wants to be a YouTuber. Yeah. He doesn't want to be a YouTuber now. Mm -hmm. And I guess we are doing it anyway. <laughs> yeah, like CJ was doing it like for a while, you know, and now to look at us doing it, I think completely shame. I just, I started to laugh by myself yeah. when I was thinking about it in the car because I thought it's so funny. Like, you know, huh. nine other of us probably thought about it, you yeah. know, two years ago or, you know, before we started all this more focused stuff, so to say. It's just so funny. Pickle pig speed. Oh, Chaos wants to know when you guys are going to have a dog on the show. <laughs> hey, anything is possible. We could turn into a. Uh, Ed Sullivan and have like an act or dog something. Dog whisperer. Well, if you can find a channel that whispers dogs, we could have a dog with dog whisperer on. 
Jim Apple, uh, pickled pig's feet. Yeah, those are yummy things. Those you can never. Chaos wants one. to know when you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, Halos. Nice That's what it is. You know, it's just fun and seeing where it goes. No, I haven't watched uh, JJ's. We and have. I heard been you said her group. voice is beautiful. Yeah. Well, no, from the videos, but definitely have to watch that. Chris mm. Six, hello. We quote shish kebabs. No. Yeah, love that. That's do the official we, food of Latvia yes. and everywhere else do in the Middle East. <laughs> no, do a quick chicken ones. Like cut up, cut up those, put the uh, slice up some onions, uh, lemon, a little bit of vinegar, uh, salt, pepper, and leave it overnight. So good. And like do the barbecue stuff. So good. Very easy. Sorry, Mandy. We have uh, many uh, rainbow kitty. We don't do that here. You're welcome to hang out. Uh, but. Yes, Laj. Yes, exactly, exactly. As you said, therapy. Yeah. Pickled pig's feet. Yeah, crunchy. My Crip Six. Well, What's that's going on? Good, Kathy. That's very good. Exactly. Like it's a good passive income. You can't get rich on it, but well, it's it's okay to have. I like what Laj. Did you read what Laj wrote? Yeah, that's why I said it's like therapy. Okay, sorry, I was because uh, we uh, have with... talked about before uh, yep. why Laj is doing his videos and uh, yeah. It should be that it's like coming in here and oh, I'm gonna take make a ton of money. Like it's not realistic at this point. Get in, wet your feet, see what you like doing. It's okay to change. If you started off with a gardening channel and it turns into, I don't know, vlogging or whatever, that's fine. There's no rules here. You can rebuild, rebrand yourself a hundred times till you find what you like to do. That's the nice thing is you actually find stuff that you didn't think you were interested in or good at. And there's, there's so much growth you can do here. I like pickled pig feet, but they walk. By the time they're <laughs> pickled bottle caps, all of the stuff that was on them is mm. off. Mm. They're still not that great. But... Well, pickled, no. They're mostly crunchy, yeah. like the, the deep fried ones. Yeah. Pickled herring is better. <sighs> We were just talking about that yesterday. With cottage cheese, panic day, where are you? <laughs> uh, cottage cheese, uh, pickled herring, uh, new potatoes with homemade sour cream and some green onions on top of it. Oh my god, that's the yeah, flubbing epic. It, do, it does, it does affect the ad, uh, the ad block does affect the monetizing. Mm -hmm. Yes, if you have ad block, we're not getting our three cents, and I agree with you, Kathy. And you, uh, Steph. <laughs> yeah. And I grew up in a place where everybody was eating that kind of stuff, and it just never, like, same as, oh, my God, head cheese. And I avoided it my whole life. Got away with it. Her mom passed away, and we were at the, um, at the like, after the funeral, the supper, all the families together. And her uncle doesn't speak any English, and he always does that to me. He just, like, takes, like, bread and meat and shoves it in my mouth. And he shoved this thing in my mouth, and I'm like, it's head cheese. No, that night was tongue. I had avoided yeah. my whole life, and he shot my mouth, and I'm like, oh, tongue, 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 tongue. Swallow it down, swallow it down. Don't think what it is. And the same with head cheese. He got me at the house one time with it. Yes. And I was just like, like oh, no. Yeah, well, remember when you came for the first supper with my mother, and she had pickled herring? Yeah. And uh, every time my mother would go to the kitchen for another pickled herring he would stuff his from his plate in my mouth so i would just mom would come and you ate have... four herring in like a minute and a half yeah yeah i love it but not to that point <laughs> god club an epic thank you that's very nice of you i mean we're not pushing for the money i mean it's nice so we just yeah, get it. thank it's, you. it's it's very nice of you. fried pickled eel is the best fish that is pickled <sighs> love of god Bottle cast, what kind of Frenchman are you, Andrew? I'm not a Frenchman, that's why. <laughs> Every time we go to our in-laws, like that's where we were now, uh, my father-in-law gets me head cheese for breakfast because he loves it. So he, he buys it and then we both have it. And he got me pickled herring this time too. He gives her everything yeah. but mouthwash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> God. <laughs> we, our, our honeymoon all she did was because we, we traveled to northern europe we're in norway and all those places all she did every morning was of course their continental breakfast in the hotel had herring in it so yeah exactly yeah 
-hmm. mackerel in Amsterdam was my favorite thing. Uh, ball caps. Well, yeah, Sweden, exactly. Sweden, yeah. Latvia, all one to one is kind of very similar. They did ban, by the way, uh, transporting them on the plane, those Swedish uh, canned fish, because people were so in love with them in Baltics that they used to just put them on the carry on. They stink like crazy. Uh, so they banned them. What is a. Uh... Uh, in Brazil, I outright refused a black bean plate with assorted bits of leftover pig. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not too yeah. big of a fan of the insides either, though. Uh, it's not. I'm thing. not very adventurous with food in general. She is more than I am. That's the whole reason why I don't really feel like doing Asia. She'd love to do Asia, but yeah, and I don't want to be some tourist that just goes to McDonald's all the time. No, but... I, I, yeah, I like trying stuff. But oh, speaking about fish, when you eat it, your nose says no, but your taste buds want more. How about the taste buds saying no too? Like the Icelandic uh, shark that Andrew had to eat as part of our uh, European Iceland business trip. Oh. Andrew went to the conference and, uh, well, as part of the business supper, he was offered yeah. their famous uh, Greenland shark. Uh, and uh, yeah. It has no kidneys. Uh, has, they have no kidneys. And the, the ice. The Vikings years ago ate them so they wouldn't uh, like starve to death in the winter, and uh, yeah, it's something else. It's uh, they have to let it ferment for six weeks, which then gives it. It's got this like blue cheese with uh, deep sea mussel texture, and it just reeks of ammonia. And Anthony Bourdain, who unfortunately uh, passed, uh, well, took his life a couple weeks ago, who traveled all the world world tasting things said it was one of the grossest things he ever ate so it it's not so i can't believe i ate it i think thank god i was a smoker so it wasn't so strong and and yeah lodge it's not so bad though it's it's, yeah. it's just uh yeah he's talking about that herring in a can mm. uh that's that stuff is stinks but it's not so bad in the taste this one is bad in taste and yeah. stinks too. it's awful god awful it's it's the smell the ammonia is so strong but on the other hand there are uh, let's see if they have any images of it their hot dog is amazing they're, they're one of the best hot dogs you'll ever have and this is the famous place where bill clinton had the hot dog they have a hot dog called the bill clinton which is basically everything on it but it's a really really good hot dog that's what they look like and they have like dried crunchy onions onto it. Yeah, uh, that's the best hot dog. Like, and it's cheap too, and it's really good. It's three different kind of meats and uh, relayed, and oh my god, it's so good. Oh. It's got uh, uh, lamb, beef, and pork all mixed into it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm crazy. The first thing I do when I get off a plane there is that I run and get a hot dog from them. Yeah, you can get those crunchy onions in IKEA though. Um, yes. Sometimes relayed is available too, but. Uh, Miss Kathy, the crazy thing I eat is peanut butter and syrup on my pancakes. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Flub and Epic is trying to change the subject. Oh, where are the kids? Glad to be home or do it again. <laughs> oh, my God, old lady. Uh, my dad loves to make a PBJ sandwich and pour gravy on top and eat with a fork. That's interesting. <laughs> oh, <Lash. laughs> no comment. <laughs> Love and epic. Where is your question there that was changing something? Oh my god. God. Oh, good one. Oh. Oh, oh, oh my god oh lady you guys are amazing oh jesus that's funny custom cards hello you're right on time oh custom cards was in a little while ago well back <laughs> back yes. who couldn't hold the lock yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh jesus that was funny uh that was the good one that, that one yeah, yeah that <laughs> Now every time we are in Iceland, yes. having that, we can think about this one. Yes, exactly. Never thought about it before all this time. All the times we had that hot dog there, it never crossed our mind. This is a good one. Oh. 
Oh, we're gonna. Well, I guess we'll sign off in a few minutes. Yeah. And it's been really nice hanging with you guys tonight. My God, it's it's amazing how you can miss people so much. We were super busy. We cleaned out garage, more uh, sheds. My cousin bought everything. Like it's unbelievable. And I mean. I had a guy that's coming and he's taking like all the scrap stuff plus stuff that he can sell like garage sales and all those things. And um, he, um, I think we're, he, the guy took what, six truckloads so far? Yes. Like, and there's still another truckload to go or more. So just do not wear a blue dress. <laughs> <song. laughs> and uh, Miss Kathy said that for those who are watching the replay, they will have no idea what you're watching. <laughs> I was thinking it was my privilege to come <laughs> Yes, yes. Mm. Little pig dress stuff. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, Elaj took the night with that one. <laughs> that was a good one. That was yes. so good. Oh, my God almighty. No, we're going to get back in the swing of things. Uh, hopefully feeling better in the next couple of days. Um yeah, we're going to have a little bit more probably in the next week and so, because yeah. as, as we said, we were going back on vacation. Uh, we're on vacation mode, so it's not going to be regulated. It's not going to be every day. Yeah. It might be on different times. Uh, uh, we are going to be on, on and off. Uh, we're going back again uh, for a little bit of time. We're going to be off almost all the time, the same as we were last week. But then we're going to be back in August with our season two and guests that we are lined up have lined up already. Um, so and nice to have you guys anywhere. here and thank you for all the kind comments the tweets because uh, you do wonder sometimes with live streams if we go away for a bit you know will you come back and like to have like what 36 people in tonight i think it was yeah. it was uh, definitely or in, even higher than 30 like you have no idea how much that means garage all funny <laughs> well, finally somebody is funny Think something is funny that Andrew says the way Andrew says it, not me. So there's always a laugh about the way I'm pronouncing things. <laughs> Thank you, Kathy. You're so Hi, sweet. Hi, Marty. Hey, how are you? Yes, we're home. Good luck with your meds, Jim. And you take care of yourself. And it was really nice seeing all you guys tonight. Oh my God! The, uh, all roller coaster scream. <laughs> there you go. Got names for. Mm. Yes, as always, Marty. That's true. We were just jumping yeah. in. We are home, uh, so we are going to be on and off for the next week uh, at different times, different days, probably. Uh, a bit dysregulated schedule for the summer. Yeah. Uh, but we are in Montreal, so we have internet. We didn't have it. Last hey, no, week. exactly. Um, I literally had to go to the the end of my gateway to be able to get a connection to make a phone call. Yeah. So we're going to be all, uh, in Montreal for uh, two weeks or so, and so we're going to be more on, and then we're going to be off again. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and uh, I'm going to leave, well, we're going to leave you guys with our sunset from the place that we are on, our Instagram. Go check it out if you haven't. Um, that's where Thank we you, were. Raj. Beautiful and peaceful. Yep. It was Peaceful, like I wish and stuff like that, but that was it was really needed. This has been like we've been on the, the streams and stuff like that, and it's been absolutely amazing. But I'm, I realized once we're home that we needed to kind of go off the grid a little bit. I look tanned, mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was tanned working outside oh. or my mainly inside, cleaning out the kitchen for five days, washing <laughs> each and every dish. So, uh, tan is mostly for working. Not, it's not a beach tan, but it's a little bit of tan. <laughs> Our daughter's hair is like bleach, yes, bleach yes. blonde. Our and... daughter's hair, she looks like a Baltic queen, yeah. blue, blue eyes. And like, I'm from Baltic, so I never was like, I had white hair, but. It was more of her daddy's hair, I think. <sighs> blue, blue eyes and white, white hair right now. Not this white hair when I was blonde. I actually yeah. had golden hair. <laughs> yeah, she looks really like a Swedish queen now. Panic, it was so great seeing you guys. I, it was amazing having you here tonight, and uh, we'll be in touch really, really soon. So. Yeah, and thank you for coming on and saying mm. hi. Look out for our tweets, our notification, if YouTube rings that bell for you. Yep. Uh, we're going to be a little bit more on, so check out... Uh, uh, next week or so yep. we might be on at different times 
uh, just to say hi. Yeah, uh, life uh, befell all the pals. Yeah, we're going to be back on again soon, like Xavier was just saying. We're on the holiday schedule right now, which yeah. is really no schedule. But we're going to be dropping in more. Guys, like I say, we're going to do a shout-out video, a shout-out uh, uh, night very, very yeah. soon. Maybe Saturday, because uh, yeah. Saturday our daughter is going to the camp. Yes. It's going to be hard night for us the first time. Oh, Thomas, it's great having you guys back. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want my daughter to go, but she's gotta go. It's gonna. It's. I want her to go. It's good for her, but it's gonna be hard to. So that might be yeah, Saturday. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, look out for applications tonight. I took a break from YouTube and just wrote a fun blog post. I missed writing. Oh, it's good. That's great. Well, mm -hmm. you started it as a blog, so it's great to to go back to it. I'm, I'm really glad you did it. It's nice to keep varied on this. Like uh, YouTube can be very consuming, and it's good to get into yeah. all the other media's as well. Oh, that's great. It actually felt good. We did miss you guys a lot, like mm -hmm. because we have so much more, as I, as, as I said at the beginning of it, than just a channel connection. It's more personal, human connection. But I did, I personally didn't miss internet per se. Like, yeah. uh, you know, when we were going to eat, I checked it and stuff, but I, I like, I didn't miss not no. having it there. We, and we were so busy, yeah. like, we, oh, oh my God, God bottle caps. <laughs> That was unexpected. Why down the rabbit go, uh, hole uh, travel? What's wrong? Who is chasing you? <coughs> hey there, Bobby. How's it going? We're just about to sign up. It's great to see you. Oh, Jim Apple, be careful, though. Yes. And Bobby, you're at the end. Yeah. Oh, no, we are signing off. Uh, mm. We're uh, going to be on and off, so you're going to look out for us mm. and uh, tweeters if you don't have tweets. Twitter, uh, make an account so you can see our posts. Bob Cass is, is your new official troll. That was awful. <laughs> Dear Outdoors, how are you? Yeah, we were just signing, getting ready to sign off pretty soon. Um, so good to see you guys. Like I say, this is an impromptu Hi, one. Great to see you. Isn't that nice? So many people came by tonight. This is amazing. Yeah. Mm. It was really great to see. I was really looking forward. Had a little bit of that jitters too yeah. before we go went live. I was like, oh. I almost forget what to do with it. Yeah. Is anybody going to come? Is it all this stuff? And once again, you guys came through with for us in droves. Yeah. And by the way, guys, uh, the cheers video. I want to take an extra moment just to thank you guys. I know some of you guys are in it, and uh, the support that video got is amazing. It's really nice to see because I wanted you guys to feel like. You know, just it was like a thank you and to show you guys just how much of a part of this channel you really are, all of you. Yeah. So I want to thank you guys for that. It means a lot that people are still watching it. I seen Steph Mark, you know, can't get tired of the us mm -hmm. uh, or can't get sick of this when she was watching it again tonight. That's mm -hmm. so cool. Yeah. You know? And uh yeah. I have a wood allergy, so I can barely see out of my eyes right now. Everything is so blurry and watery. <laughs> and Xenia shares she's just beat. Uh, she's tan. You can see I have my head transplant look again for the summer because I always, I don't wear shorts, so <laughs> it looks like a head no and arm No short transplant. shorts, this guy here. Yeah. <laughs> Three weeks until tonight. Oh, oh well, we're well, glad you got to come timing. back so we can see you. Yes. That's so cool. Well, it was really nice seeing all you guys. Like I say, we do talk about these lots. Um, some people, I think, think it's bizarre the way we talk about you guys, like, you know, because they don't understand yes. the connection. But we do, it, and we, uh, that's all that matters. It's rabbit season, duck season, and rabbit season. season and you're showing some skin. Ooh, ooh. yeah, ooh. exactly. I tell you. Yep, yeah, even my arms, I don't even know if I have, well, yeah, T-shirt length, I guess. But, yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right, head transplant. Farmer tan. Yeah, I think yeah. it's worse than farmer tan. Holy God, bottle caps! You're really bringing out the cavalry, aren't you? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, uh, Jody will be glad that you were here tonight. So she'll be uh, asking about you. Like I said, she asked today and that. So you guys take care of yourselves. Uh, I know we look kind of worse for wear tonight, but thank you for spending your time with us. It's been a fabulous evening. TW, so glad to have you here. Welcome to the family. And uh, yeah, 
we'll be back real soon just keep an eye on twitter you never know when we'll drop by and we're definitely doing a shout out video so everybody get ready and tell all your friends and let's have a ton of people in oh. hi mini rainbow uh welcome back like i say you're more than welcome we'd love to have you in here oh my <laughs> god that's it you know you try you try you try thank you custom cards and uh yes uh, uh follow us on twitter and you'll see probably more reliable if we're on uh than youtube but uh hopefully it's drink for you too and we're so well it's so good to see you all and uh we've been trying to to check out your guys' videos as much as we can. Um, Take care, guys. Have night. a great night. <laughs> you took my what? Because you forgot it. I was getting to it. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers and keep creating, guys. Love you all.